I'm going to be honest with you. Chicago just seemed like it can't get right. Can't get right is out here in Chicago doing his thing. Can't get right is in Chicago doing his thing. Chicago is on a path of destruction to not only use and nuke the money that they have from their own state and constituents in their own city, but also from you, from your pockets. And they said, listen, not only are we spending 30 to $40 million a month of our own money, but we're going to go over to Washington and we're going to petition for the rest of the country to join in and us becoming a sanctuary city. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring Chicago to the front of the congregation. This is Brandon Johnson over the last couple of days and what it is that he's been doing. Cameras has been following him. He's been documenting the journey. And he's going to communicate to you very clearly of what, he, what it is that he stands for. Mayor Brandon Johnson is in Washington, D.C. today, joining mayors from other large cities asking the Biden administration for more help with the migrant crisis. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza live for us in the control room with the latest on this trip today. Sabrina? Joe, at the rate Chicago is going, they will not be able to sustain the number of migrants that are coming to the city. That is the message that Mayor Brandon Johnson is bringing with him to Washington today. At this rate, he says the city is spending $40 million a month supporting this crisis let's stop there guys let's stop there let's stop there 40 million dollars a month supporting with no plan in place as to how it is that he's gonna fund it he said we're gonna get there and then we're gonna run over to washington and we're gonna beg biden the same way that these chicks is betting biden for student loan forgiveness you know how your chick Got the $40, it take her $40 in order to get back on her feet. Chicago is that chick that's, that's, that's coming to daddy and they said we, gonna, we spending $40 million a month and growing. Think about it, at $40 million a month, they were already over in a budget deficit of literally almost $100 million when Lori Lightfoot was in office. And then he protested and he wanted to get in office and I warned you. I warn you, listen, I was so connected with what was going on throughout the country that I told y'all, and I brought it up here on the Millionaire Morning Show, and I said, listen, guys, this mayoral race is taking place in Chicago. They want to have the Safety Act. They're becoming a sanctuary city. I've been having this conversation with y'all since last year. I warned you, and I said, these are your options. If I was in Chicago, I would go with this guy over here because he actually – stands for and would be a better representation of what you guys need he's not just a, a a face with a mohawk that it gives you representation because you're black i warned you i warned you i put it on the front of the con i brought him to the front of the congregation before we ever did these deep dives in these shows to where i started criticizing his policies and the way he's running the city i warned you i told you i told you but you decided that you wanted to vote him in office anyway and now you're getting mad at me because he's literally considered, as of right now, as of Friday, November 3rd, 2023, the worst mayor in the United States of America, in my opinion. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Chicago. Don't get mad at me for holding y'all accountable now. On a quick trip to Washington. It's certainly an urgency in our part. A big ask. In this letter, the mayors of Chicago, L.A., Denver, Houston, New York, asking for... Listen, look, look at these cities. Look at these sanctuary cities that we bring into the front of the congregation. Chicago, right at the front of the list. Denver, Mike Johnston, the Johnson and the jo Johnson and Johnson, right next to each other. You see him, Johnson and Johnson? Are these not the very people that I have been bringing to the front of the congregation and warned you that this was going to happen? I told you. I literally brought every last one of these cities to the front of the congregation, and I told you. I said, listen, they're going to be begging. It's not going to just be Illinois. It's not just going to be Denver. It's not just going to be Texas. They're going to be begging, and they're going to be trying to get y'all money on a federal level. They're not just going to have it contained within their own cities and their own, and their own states. Brandon Johnson, Mike Johnston, Karen Bass, Sylvester Turner, 
And New York, welcome to New York. Eric Adams with Lil Mama standing on the stage with him like this. I'm going to be standing on the stage just like this. Dog, I can't wait till political season come up. I'm turning up on the Millionaire Morning Show. I'm turning up on the Millionaire Morning I can't wait until political season start to pop off because I'm going to be right here. Man. Welcome to Detroit. Nigga. Real talk. $5 billion to, quote, cover the expenditures their cities have already incurred and, quote, to continue serving the number of people arriving. They're also asking for accelerated approval of work authorizations and a more coordinated entry process for migrants. As a city, um, as we continue to provide wraparound services and health care and sheltering and resettlement, um, um, registering individuals for our, for our public institutions, our schools, um, that this um, financial dynamic has caused a tremendous burden on our local economy. As of September 29th, the city of Chicago has spent $116 million welcoming migrants. That does not include parks department spending, $270,000, spending by Chicago Public Schools, $1.4 million, and $15.8 million from Cook County Health. The city is projecting there will be a shortage of anywhere from $150 million to $201 million dollars by the end of the year. By the end of this year, uh, we're going to reach well over $300 million um, alone in just uh, um, addressing this year's um, dynamic. While the mayors met with the White House chief of staff, as well as senators and representatives. They put this on the president. Um, this is all a, at the president's door. He's not doing anything. He's uh, uh, giving us something that's not sustainable. City council is in the middle of creating their budget for next year. We have to figure this out, and certainly it's got to start with uh, Closing the border and at least have a moratorium on letting people come in. Shelter, food, clothing, schooling, health care. I don't have to say anything because you're looking at it. Are you mad at me or are y'all... I want y'all to give all of the energy that y'all mad at me for bringing Chicago to the front of the congregation. I want you to give it to your mayor. Y'all call into this show to hold me accountable, but you ain't never called the mayor's office. At least I called the mayor's office for your own city in order to get some answers of what's going on. I called the mayor's office for your city to get some answers on what's going on. Deficits, gnashing of the teeth, money lost, higher taxes. Nobody is covering this. Nobody is really doing the thing that they're supposed to do for the black community. You know why? Because it's not salacious enough. It's not the thing that we should be talking about because we need more distractions as to how it is that you supposed to take women out to the Cheesecake Factory. We're going to cover that, too. But this is more important. Shouldn't it be more important? Umar Johnson got more to say about who uh, Terrell Owens is dating and whether Jonathan Majors is going with snow bunnies than he do about what's going on in your own cities and your own communities. I'm more of a black leader than he ever been. Let me give a round of applause to myself for that. Let me give a second round of applause for myself for that. Let's see what's happening over on the front of Chicago as far as what the residents feel. Because I know the residents want to say and what's going on here. Good morning. There are three locations the mayor's office is working to uh, to turn into migrant housing for especially for about 3000 migrants who are still sleeping at police stations and airports. But these plans have some residents and city officials at odds. As the city searches options to house migrants. See that snow? Y'all like that snow? It's going to be a white Christmas. Y'all like that dirty snow, that yellow snow? Both <laughs> sites are being considered for future use. The vacant lot at 38th in California in Brenton Park will be used as a tent base camp, according to the Chicago Sun-Times. They say it could house up to 2,000 migrants. The Sun-Times also reports the city signed a lease with the property owners on October 26 and will pay them $91,400 a month to use the land. 
controversial. We in the wrong business, bag chasers. We need to go and get some commercial real estate in Chicago and charge Mayor Brandon Johnson $91,000 a month to house migrants on a long-term lease. What I, I said, Chicago, bag chasers in Chicago, we in the wrong business. We need to get in the commercial real estate business in order to charge Mayor Brandon Johnson $91,000 a month in order to house migrants. <laughs> they don't care nothing about y'all. They don't care nothing about y'all. Controversy over the site has sparked numerous protests. See, we love our community. We don't want nothing to happen here. We don't want it, and we hope we can get it stopped. Since last August, more than 20,000 asylum seekers have arrived in Chicago. Many are from Central and South America. More than 3,000 are still waiting to be placed in shelters. On the south side, a proposed migrant shelter and tent base camp at West 115th and South Halsted is also receiving opposition from Morgan Park and Roseland residents. Enough is enough, and we simply cannot take any more uh, migrants. We can't divide those resources, and it needs to be stopped, and I think City Hall needs to stop it. Additionally, Alderman Byron Cicho Lopez blocked a vote in council on Wednesday that would have allowed the city to buy the old Jewel Osco building and surrounding parking lot for a dollar. But the proposal could come back up for consideration at next week's meeting. Residents believe there's a better use for the space. Now that you want to purchase it, you need to purchase it and put the programs over here for our children. That's all we are accepting. No, you ain't getting nothing. You don't get nothing. You don't pass go. You don't collect $200. You don't do none of that. Mayor Brandon Johnson wanted to address the people of what it is that he's doing great inside of the city. Let's see if we can get through this really quickly. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we introduced two ordinances that will help support small businesses and development in our communities. Uh, first, the Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protections uh, Outdoor Patio Zoning Ordinance uh, for breweries seeks to establish a licensing framework for outdoor patios, helping dozens of breweries in Chicago. Uh, residents and visitors alike love outdoor dining. Uh, they particularly love it in Chicago. And restaurant owners um, love the ability to expand their space. Jesus. No, this, this is not a long time ago. This is within the last two days that he did this. This is the things that he's sharing with the people in order to try to educate y'all. Oh, what they doing inside of Chicago's budget? <laughs> Yo, shout out to the pulpit pimp. The pulpit pimp is in the building. Shout out to Brandon Johnson. That's Vanessa and the people that is really, really, really doing the Lord's work out here in these streets. Oh, man. Shout out to, I got to give it to Brandon Johnson. He finessed y'all out of a seat and he is running it up <laughs> this dude is Kang the Conqueror Brandon Johnson is Kang the Conqueror he if he should be the very one that take over listen if y'all gonna get rid of Jonathan Majors bring in Brandon Johnson if you gonna get rid of Jonathan Majors bring in Brandon Johnson and make sure he play Kang the Conqueror flat out make sure that this guy plays king the conqueror because i cannot believe that this is playing out the way that it's playing out this is what y'all got rid of Lori lightfoot for this is what y'all got rid of beetlejuice for beetlejuice 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 <gasps> this is what y'all got rid of beetlejuice for jesus i wish i had more time i would i would mine this all the way out don't worry about it don't worry about it we still got we got next week we got next week